So with Wimbledon only a couple of weeks away, we have the Queen's Club Championships, which is one of the staples of the grass court season and one of the biggest events going into Wimbledon. But let's go have a look who's not playing this event because it is stacked, but there are some names missing. So only a couple of players not playing this one. Marin Cilic, a former champion, he won't be playing. And Nishioka has also pulled out of this one. So not too many crazy names pulling out of this one. Of course, Cilic hasn't played for a long time because of the knee injury he got back in January, still recovering from that. Okay, starting at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one. Nobody gets a buy in the first round. Carlos Alcaraz, he's playing this one for the first time. He's finally playing some grass court tennis before Wimbledon, unlike last year where he went from the French Open to Wimbledon without much practice. He plays a quality in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Lehechka or Fakina in the second round, so doesn't get any easier for Carlos there. Then you've got Berrettini taking on Russovori. Berrettini, of course, the defending champion of last year. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number eight seed, Sarundalo, in the second round. So interesting little section of the draw there for Alcaraz. Not easy. It depends who that qualifier is in that first round because there are some scary qualifiers potentially, including guys like Tommy Paul, Grigor Dimitrov, that could meet him in the first round. So this draw could be a little bit awkward for Carlos, but very good opportunity to get some form. Second part of the draw now, and you've got Tiafo taking on Van Zandtrup, the fourth seed Tiafo Had a great week last week on the grass, so looking to keep that momentum. Winner of that will take on either Quarter or Evans in the second round. Then you got Thompson taking on Milos Raonic, who's back for the first time in forever. He played last week pretty well last week, and he's back again this week. Winner of that will take on either Kichmenovic or the number five seed Norrie in the second round. So interesting section here, and it's so hard to know who's going to do well based on one week of form. I know Tiafo played well last week. Raonic played pretty decent. Even Thompson played okay last week. But can they maintain the form, or is someone like a Norrie going to fly out of this part of the draw? And of course, this section takes on Alcaraz's section, so... Could be an interesting little section of the draw to see who gets out of both of these parts to play in the semis. Bottom half of the draw now, you've got Diminor, the number seven seed, taking on Murray. Another blockbuster matchup in the first round. And it could go for three hours. And on a grass court, that's actually a really long time. So watch out for that one. Winner of that takes on either Schwartzman or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Manorino taking on Brody. Winner of that will take on either Morales or the number three seed, Fritz, in the second round. I've got to be honest, this section of the draw feels like a really good opportunity for Fritz. You know, Diminor Murray, we know they can play here, and they, you know, Diminor obviously can play on grass, but Murray is a former champion here. Manorino played well last week, but I don't know, I feel like Fritz should be looking pretty positive about this draw and should get out of this part of the draw to make the semis because he is the highest ranked player by a long shot in this section. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number six seed Musetti taking on Choinsky, the wild card in the first round. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Shelton in the second round. Then we've got Umber versus Peniston. Winner of that will take on either Cressy or the number two seed, Runa, in the second round. Cressy, Runa, that is such a fun matchup. We all know Cressy with the big serve. He also plays that old school style of serve volley tennis, which on grass is just classic against the new style of Runa, the young up and coming Runa. So that can be really interesting. And of course, Musetti and Runa possible quarterfinal. But this section, again, it's so hard to know who's actually going to get through. Umbert's played well here before. You know, Musetti played well at the French Open, as did Runa. But does that mean anything on the grass? I don't know. And this section, of course, taking on the Fritz section in the semifinals, potentially, uh, could be Fritz versus Runa. But this bottom half of the draw seems a lot more open. The top half seems very, very heavy, and the champion might come from that. So there it is, the Queen's Club Championships, and it's a very top-heavy draw with Elkris at the top, and massive, massive names, and good grass court players as well. So Elkris has got his work cut out for him, and the bottom half is looking a little open, a little empty, but also a lot of good clay quarters down the bottom. Maybe that won't fare well for them. You know, guys like Runa... Uh, who didn't play that great what last year on the you know the, at the tournaments on grass? Guys like Runa, who didn't really play that well on the grass last year, maybe a great opportunity for him. Someone like a Fritz as well. Like I said, his draw looks a little bit more open uh, than maybe the top half. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this tournament. I would love to say Elkrez. I would love to see him win this tournament. I think that would be so cool to see after what he did at the French Open. You know, winning, uh, you know, getting to that Djokovic match, not being able to perform in that match, unfortunately. Then come out and win a grass court match or a grass court tournament. That would be really, really epic to see him do that. But realistically, probably someone like a Runa or a Fritz, maybe. Someone down the bottom half of the draw that has an easier side of the draw. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the Queen's Club Championship?